Professor Michael Goodchild is all about intrigue and just so much of it. Born during the Second World War in the English county of Somerset, Mike was convinced at an early age geographers can study anything. But when it came to teaching college students, his feet would grow colder than the Arctic. I thought lecturing was a, a really huge challenge. And I used to spend lots and lots and lots of time uh, thinking about my lecture. When the United States National Science Foundation sought faculty to run the National Center for Geographic Information and Analysis, Goodchild was the first to get a call. In the late 1980s, many geographers were able to dismiss GIS as, quote, mere technology. So I and a few others were motivated to show that it raised important intellectual questions that were fundamental to science. His theory that GI science is the storehouse of knowledge that makes GI systems possible soon became a unifying force for the community. Michael is responsible for really creating and nurturing and growing geographic information science in our field. In terms of industry, it impacted us by providing us a geography science foundation for all things geospatial. Professor Goodchild headed the National Center for Geographic Information and Analysis for nearly two decades. After NCGIA's core funding ended in 1996, he managed to get external funding amounting to over 40 million dollars for his pet projects. Mike is quite simply the most revered figure in the GIS and geographic information world certainly the most revered academic. In 2007, he received the Wartrin Lute Prize, more commonly referred to as the Nobel Prize for Geography. Professor Goodchild's passion for crafting and shaping the fabric of geospatial discipline has, without doubt, laid the foundation for a more socially relevant and value-oriented geospatial industry. Mike uh, is a real pioneer in the field of GI science and he nurtured that field for decades, uh, doing an excellent job of building uh, capability in the GI science. Goodchild retired in 2012, but his love affair with geospatial technology continues and he's brimming with research ideas he could be working on if he was still active professionally. Everyone knows you have many seminal contributions to the geospatial world. They also recognize you as a humble global ambassador for all that is good in the sciences. The last five years have seen life settle into a mellow, manageable rhythm for Goodchild. He spends his time gardening or hiking and biking around Seattle. But he finds time to do consulting for ESRI and serve as an expert witness in lawsuits over patents on geospatial technology. The greatest victory was in convincing people that GIS was more than simply a computer application. It was, it is a science.